All right, y'all, so we just made the video, got it wrapped, getting hoses and stuff on it. We gotta work on how that's rolled up. Newer guy doing that, but so we're gonna have our water line here. Got our soft wash, nice thing is that if we have a water leak or if we need to rinse it off, we can do that really quickly and easily. We got a whole boatload of the clear poly hose that we're gonna use for our booster and proportioner. Proportioner is gonna be plumbed up right here. Um, we switched some stuff around from the other one, but so the nice thing is that this is gonna go up straight into the bleach. We'll be able to have that one go right into the water and then we're gonna put our soap tank, most likely we're gonna have a soap tank right in here. Um, so it's a real short run. I mean, we're only talking up two feet, down three, four feet. So really nice and convenient there. The booster is going to be right in here, shooting out this way. So we'll be able to just have it. It's already got the 90 coming off of that. So it'll have a quick 90 right there to that side of the, the hose. Um, if we wanted to, we could run it back behind, but I think we're going to try and just do it right there. It may end up having like a loop to take a little bit of the pressure off of it, off that fitting. Um, and we'll also have to do some stuff with the priming so that we'll have from the water outlet. Like I always like to be able to force feed um, that water into the booster if possible, but we'll still have a good bit of flow. We'll have it plumbed up so that we can either have water, um, I'll actually do one more three way valve, but water coming straight from the two inch pipe to prime it or water being force fed in there. So in case we're, we're low on water, we'd be able to prime it properly. Uh, pressure line. Regular hose reel number two. Um, this will be going up there. We may end up doing one of these. Might be one where we'll put garden hose on, on one side of it and pressure hose on the other side. This one won't actually be plumbed up um, in all likelihood. Um, we're gonna keep it so that this side just has the caps. This side will have our swivels, so we'll have those going where we need them, but they won't be anywhere near all of what's going on here with the pressure washers. Pressure washers are mounted now. We got our um, jumper hoses and everything in. Uh, working on the fuel tanks, and I know somebody's going to see this, they're closer, quite frankly, than I wanted them to be. Um, when we mount the other one, we're going to try and get further over, but unfortunately over here, we thought we could go right here, but there's actually, you get your 2x4 or, or, or 2x6, and then it's got uh, another steel railing there. Thought about possibly mounting up there, but decided that we can just go through the wood for right now. If we end up having to put a piece of insulation in here, so be it. Um, this is what plumbing looks like. All the millions of fittings and everything everywhere. All the electric reels are plumbed up and working. Um, this, we're going to have it set. And we'll have it so this is at an angle. comes down, we'll have our 90 like this, and then the rest of it will be able to rest directly onto the frame, go across there to that T. One side's gonna go over, um, sorry, for a dump line on that side. This side's gonna come down here, T, and go to those two boosters. This side, so we put our, um, it's a reducer or um, bushing to go down to one inch, have a one inch adapter, one inch ball valve, and then our dump hose or bucket filler or whatever. That way we can fill up on both sides. We are also working on having it set up so that we can actually not have to climb up on top of here. You see we've got the, the hose coming up top. We'll have a um, section hose come down here. So we'll be able to, when the guys get back for the day, whether it's over here or there, but be able to cam lock on our two inch pipe, two inch hose, and be able to fill the tank from the ground. Um, the more times that we, or fewer times that we get up and on there, the better. And then we'll have our bleach line coming over here so we can fill same thing have our cam lock over here um, so we can cam lock the bleach fitting on there and keep that tank closed as much as possible and that, for anybody who's watching we did custom make these had these welded up um, depending on how that all works out we may look at selling some of them we'll see 